what is the best time to stream on Facebook gaming? You can actually figure this out with a chart that is in Facebook creator studio that Facebook provides for you. So you go to Facebook creator studio, like we are here and you go to insights. You want to then go under audience and this is kind of hidden here. You have really have to look for it. And sometimes it's easy to forget where it is. So hopefully you can use this video as a reference anytime you forget, but you then want to come over to new followers. Okay. This is the, this is the part that's really hard to remember is you have to click on this new followers tab. Normally by default, this page is going to have you be on engaged viewers and you won't see the chart on this tab. But if you go to the new followers tab and you then scroll down, you'll now see this chart. It gives you a really, really nice look at when your followers are online. And at first it, it does this by this hour. You can actually change it to the day and hour or the hour or the day. I think the hour is the best chart to get a, a good idea of when your viewers ramp up to a maximum point. Okay. So how do you determine when you start, you know, when, when is the best time for you to stream here? You want to stream on an uptick where you get to your max point, right? So if we're looking at mine, and this is, this is the time of day in which your viewer, your viewers are watching. If you hover over here on this little eye over here, actually, let me move this so you guys can see what I'm talking about because it's hidden behind my camera here. If you hover over this eye, it says the hour, day, or a combination of both, which reflects when your followers use Facebook on any device in a given week. Okay. So my highest point is five o'clock AM in the morning. This makes sense because many of my followers are from the Philippines. So this would actually be 5 PM their time. And so that's kind of prime time schools over, you know, works over people can enjoy themselves and watch live streams. And they can, that's when they're using Facebook. So this is important because Facebook will only send notifications for the most part to users who commonly use or are online at Facebook at that time. So when you go live, Facebook's going to send notifications to users who are using Facebook at that time or, or with Facebook in the algorithm, uh, has users identified as are commonly active on Facebook during this time. So even if they're not on Facebook, if they're usually on Facebook at that time, Facebook will send them a live notification saying that you just went live. So you want to program your stream to ramp up on these hours. So I would want to probably start my stream at like three to 4 AM. If I wanted to get the max of my current page following potential, I probably want to start my stream at three or 4 AM so that I would be right at prime at this 5 AM mark to get this maximum amount. I would probably not want to stream, uh, in the middle of my day, uh, down here at 10 AM to 11 AM to 12 PM. So look at 1 PM, my time. It's the worst. It's only, only 2000 of my 31,000 followers are online. And then my best slot happens to be my evening slot. I actually don't stream. It's really hard for me to stream when it's early in the morning. So. I actually do my evening slot where I start around uh, six or actually 7 PM. And I get this nice little ramp up in my evening, which is, you know, that's, that's about the best I can do. So I start right around here and I get this ramp up towards the end. So this is where you find it. If you don't like this view, you can also use the day and hour. It's a nice little heat map and it'll show you where your weak spots and your strong spots are during the week. So, so again, you find this by going to Facebook creator studio, going to insights, going to audience. And then you got to go to the new followers section here on top. And that's it.